Today, I'll show you how to add a read more feature to show and hide the content of cards or containers. For example, these are my cards. At first, they only display a small description of the services. But when I click the read more button, all the details are revealed like this. And the page scrolls so that viewers don't have to do it themselves. It's a great way to declutter your cards or containers and give more control to the viewers on your site. It's very simple to set up and you can easily add it to cards, containers or any section where you want to show or hide content. But before we move ahead, let's do these things first. Make sure that the element of Flexbox widget is active in your settings. Okay, is it done? Now let me show you how to set this up. Here, I've selected a template where I'll add my product card and show you the more or less section. First, add a container and select Flexbox as the container type. While going through the settings, keep everything as default and justify the contents to the center. Let's also align it to the start like this. Now set the column and row gaps to 40 each. And in that one section, unlink the margin and change the top margin value to minus 100 like this. Similarly, we'll make these changes to the padding. With the settings in place, our layout is complete. Next, we'll add our product cards here. So let's add a container and set the container width to full. Justify the content to the start, then head over to the style section. Now, we'll select the gradient background type. For colors, I have a set of color codes unique to my page. I'll set this color code as primary. For secondary, I'll use this code. Now, for the angle, Let's set it to 50 degrees. Okay, let's move to the border section and add a radius of 30 pixels. Finally, add some padding to the cards, unlink them and set the values to 40 for the top, 20 for the left and right side and 30 for the bottom side. A single card page doesn't work. We all know that. So we'll duplicate this container twice, giving us three cards here. Now, there's no points for guessing what's next. Let's quickly jump to adding content inside our cards next. First, I'll add an image widget to a container. I'm gonna use this image for the card. All right, now add a heading section like this. Then we'll need a text editor section and a call to action button. So I'll add everything in advance. And this is what it looks like for the heading. I'll name it brand strategy, change the text color to white and keep it center line. I'll also set the typography to pop-ins and the font size to 30 pixels. For the text editor section, I already have some content that I'll copy and paste here and done. Let's change the text color to white, set the alignment to justified and adjust the font size to 17 pixels. Moving to the advanced section, scroll down to here, add a CSS class name of TS1. This will help us link this text editor to the code that we will add later. Now let's move to the button. I'll change the button text to read more and set the button position to center. For the typography, We'll use the same settings at the text editor section like this. For colors, set the text color to white and make button background transparent with a one pixel solid border. Also, let's add a border radius of 10 pixels. Now, finally add a CSS class name BT1 to our button. Again, doing this will link this button to the code. With that, our first card design is complete. Now use the same steps to design the other two cards. Remember, the class names and content will differ, but everything else stays the same. So for example, in the second card, let's label the CSS class as TS2 and the button as BT2 and follow the same rules for the third card. So the CSS class for the text editor would be TS3 and for the button would be BT3. Finally, we are ready with all three of our cards. From here on, 
I'll use an HTML code I made to animate the read more section of each card. First, add an HTML widget to the card. Go to the description, copy the code, come back and paste it here. Now let's see if it worked. Mm, it didn't. Okay, this is an easy problem to fix. Just head over to the button section and remove this hash symbol. Okay, I hope it works now. And voila, it works. Just remove the hash symbols from all the buttons. For the remaining cards, I'll speed up the process so you can see the final effect. Also, here's a quick note for you. You need to change the CSS class names for each card in the HTML code to make the card work on the other product cards. So, TS1 changes to TS2 and TS3. And the same applies to the buttons. That means BT1 will change to BT2 and BT3. Now, all that's left is the final look of our page. Let's preview it. And yeah, once you click on this read more button, the card expands and the page scrolls with it like this. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your size speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.